Okay, so we're going to work on a sequence which I'm calling the giant psoas sequence. Now the psoas muscle is a deep muscle that lies um, attached to our thoracic spine and it goes all the way down to beyond the hip socket. It's a muscle that we use when we're learning to walk as youngsters, as infants. So it then becomes a really automatic muscle. It's a muscle we don't often think about. So we're going to think about it consciously in this next sequence. So I'd like you to come with me into cat pose by placing the hands down in front of you. Knees just hip width apart. And let's just acclimatise by taking three deep breaths in our cat sequence. Inhaling as we look forward. Exhaling as we lower the head. Just do that another twice. Well done. So I'd like you to drop any elbow, it doesn't matter which one, just drop any elbow. So we're now in an asymmetrical cat and I want you just to gently look up to the raised side, whichever side that happens to be at. Inhaling, coming back up and then drop the other elbow. So it all feels a little artificial, doesn't it? But we just allow the head to rotate. Well done. Let's come back up into cat pose. So we're going to do the moving baby dolphin now. So <clears throat> some of my regulars will, will know that this clasped hand position is known as the dolphin pose with the elbows connected to the ground. We have the knees connected to the ground as well. And we can turn this into something quite dynamic by moving forward over the hands, maybe even touching the nose on the mat in front of you, and then raising the hips up and back. Now breath-wise, it doesn't really matter if we're moving forward on an inhale or, or an exhale. Just coordinate the movement with your breathing, however it flows. And after you've done that last one, well done, I'd like you to come back up into cat pose again. From here, we're going to take our right foot forward. So we're in a deep lunge, and we allow, if the shoulders are happy to, to bring the arms up ahead. So it becomes almost like a little back bend. Now start to feel the hips descending, and you can start to tune into some of those complex hip muscles. We're trying to isolate a really deep muscle known as the psoas muscle. And you will feel that along the left hip. Now from here, I want us to come forward with the arms. So we're leaning forward, extending the arms out ahead of you. If this is a little uncomfortable for the lower back, take your hands to the hips. Now then, for the giant psoas bit, I'd like you to place your hands down onto either side of the foot, tuck the back toe under, lift the back foot, and if you can, allowing the arms to drift forward. So this is a really deep stretch. You can almost feel it under your armpit all the way through to the inside of the left thigh. Really well done. Strong, warming stuff. Let's place both hands down either side of the leg. Drop the knee, flatten the foot. I'd like you to step back and come into plank pose. Now in plank pose, we're going to try just turning the feet round and extending the arm up towards the ceiling and it doesn't matter which side we're going to, just follow your instincts. Good. And it's really heat building, so well done. Now then, let's drop the knees. Once you're back in plank, have a gentle fold. Come back up 
and we're going to take the left foot forward now and we're going to go back to our psoas muscles. So let's start by allowing the arms to drift up and the hips are gently sinking. Gentle back bend as well. Good. From here, we're going to extend the arms forward. This might be too much leverage for our lower backs, so we can always take our hands to our hips. Good. Now then, can you take your hands down to either side of the foot? Tuck the back toe under, lift the back knee, and then extending forward. So this is the giant psoas. Really well done. Let's bring in everything back down, including the knee. Let's fold back into plank pose again. But this time we'll just keep a regular plank, couple of breaths. Let's bend the elbows in, lower ourselves down towards the mat. Come into either Sphinx or Cobra. This is Sphinx. This is the deeper Cobra. And from here, lowering the head, hands back in line with the chest, folding, folding. Maybe just take the hands, stack one fist on top of the other, rest on the forehead, elevate your face from the ground as the body is nice and warm, and just rest here for a few recovery breaths. Very well done, thank you.